Hello YouTube, Ron here. And in this video, I will show you how WannaCry works. WannaCry is a ransomware. A ransomware is a piece of software that encrypts all victims' data and demands money to decrypt the files. If the user pay the money, the files will be decrypted and returned to its original state, or else the files are unusable and destroyed. WannaCry has made a major destruction in past few days. WannaCry has destroyed many files of many big organizations and hospitals. Now let's test that how it works. First of all, I will be using a virtual machine for this experiment. A virtual machine is a computer inside a computer. Using this, the malware will only infect the virtual PC. My actual PC will remain safe. You must not try this on your personal PC as it's very dangerous. Now I will download the actual ransomware. I will not post the link in the description as it may violate the terms and conditions of YouTube. Just search on Google for WannaCry and you should get what you want. Microsoft Windows is unable to detect this threat even if Windows Defender is active, which is really annoying. The file I downloaded is in archived format, it's in .tz file extension. Extracting the .tz file, I got a .bin file. When the extension of a file is changed, the file is inactive and cannot be executed. I will move the file to a folder cry on the desktop. To make it active, I will rename the file from .bin to .exe. Most of the time, the .exe file is binded with a file and sent to a victim. Now I will execute this file. Executing the file extracts some file. I guess they are the dependencies for the ransomware and some files are added to the desktop. Also there is a folder with instruction in different language. It looks similar to the documentation that comes with the game. The file that I created on the desktop got encrypted and unreadable. So the malware has started working. Suddenly the wallpaper of my desktop changed to a message saying that the files are encrypted. In a moment, an application name on a decryptor launched with some FAQs and a hash code for a Bitcoin account. One shocking thing that I noticed is that the application had an online chat option which allowed the victim to talk to the attacker. On the desktop, there is a readme file again with additional FAQs. According to the message on the application, if I don't pay $300 in 3 days, the cost will be doubled. And if I don't pay the money in 7 days, I will not be able to recover any of my files again. It has changed the extension of the file that it previously encrypted. The strange thing that I noticed about this malware was that it doesn't encrypt the newly created files and it doesn't encrypt .bin and .exe file. Thanks for watching this video, hit liked if you liked it. To know more about this malware, leave a comment below. Share this video with your friends to keep them safe. And for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next one.